BMW's M cars. They look like angry versions of the car your dad used to drive and they go like stink. In 2016, two new M's are on the way. The M4 GTS and the car we're here to look at, the all new M2. This is the fastest two series money can buy and it looks like an Angry 2 Series, which is good because it's sort of what it is. Now, the previous quickest two you could buy, the M235i, was absolutely brilliant. Love that thing to bits, but the M2 promises to be more. Here's what's new. First things first, the look. This is an aggressive looking car. Big arches, huge air dams and some fantastic details have taken the 2 Series from pretty to pretty chuffing aggressive. It'll come in four colours, blue, black, white and grey, and the only interior trim is black. You can only have the 19 inch alloys you see here too, and the M standard quad exhaust are all present and correct. Under the bonnet is a puffed up version of the M235i's 3 litre turbocharged engine, except in there it's putting out 365 horsepower and 343 pound foot. Its top speed is limited to 155 miles an hour, unless you tick the right box on the options list, then you get somewhere closer to 170. 0 to 62 takes 4.5 seconds with a manual or 4.3 with a dual clutch auto. Now, the important thing to take away here is that you can have this with with a stick shift, you can change gears yourself with a third pedal and everything, and you don't get that in an Audi RS3. How's about the Eco stuff? Well, in various configurations, it'll manage 35.8 mpg and emit just 185 grams per kilometer of carbon dioxide, which is not bad. You've got a lecky diff to make sure things stay the way they should be. There's also the brilliant M dynamic mode, which gives you a little bit of slip so you can be something of a hero, but there's still a safety net so you don't spod your brand spanking new car. My favorite bit though is the smoky burnout mode. There's a button for burnout, which is awesome. And if you spec a manual, it'll blip the throttle on the downshift so you don't have to. The M2, I think, looks a bit toned down compared to its predecessor, the 1M Coupe, but it certainly looks angry enough to make it stand out. Here's the thing, could this be this generation's M3? Look back at the E30. It was small, had a great turn of pace, looked awesome, and like the M2, wasn't super common. Only a few hundred M2s will reach the UK each year. It was also bloody brilliant and got legions of people hooked on the M3 ethos. Nowadays, the M3 is a serious bit of kit. It's quite hardcore in some respects, and it's also quite big. The M2 is smaller, cheaper, and almost as quick. It's the kind of car that people can get into and then join the M ecosystem just that little bit earlier. Anyway, with the M2 and the M4 GTS, BMW's centenary year is looking to be a very noisy, very smoky, and very fun one. And before we go, this is what the M2 sounds like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 